Hey, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Thank you so much for tuning in for this message. Please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message, not a personal. If you would like a personal, the information is listed in the description of this video along with so much more other information. For those who are new to the channel, I am a psychic medium. Um, there's so much proof out there in social media. You can definitely look into past live videos, whether here in YouTube or in Facebook. Also, look into reviews to see the proof, the truth, and accuracy as well. Um, tune in for Q&As. When I go live for Q&As, you could definitely get a question answered or just see for yourself um, for those who do. Um, and just know that energy is flowing. So this could be past, present, or future. This does not necessarily have to be current energy for you. It's different times for everyone, okay? And thank you so much for all new subscribers. And thank you all returning subscribers and all members. I really appreciate you all so very much. I appreciate the support, the true, genuine support from from you all um and hopefully you can stay all right let's tune into this message i'm going to start with gemini and then work my way through all air signs all right spare please show us a message for gemini gemini Please show us a message for Gemini. Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please show us a message for Gemini. Gemini, it's fair. Please show us a message. Gemini. And what else? All right, Gemini, we have Ascension, Spiritual Path, Awakening, Divine Feminine. So some of you could be awakened to who your Divine Feminine is or you are the Divine Feminine and you're ascending. You're ascending due to your spiritual path. Show us more for Gemini. We have Surviving Daily Hustle. Okay, so for some of you, um, you could possibly um tap into your spiritual side and or your spiritual gifts okay and start uh your entrepreneurship you could definitely start venturing off and doing your own thing starting your own business um show us more or gemini um just going through your awakening it could be pushing you towards you know what is what what your purpose here is you know is 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 pushing you into what it is that you're supposed to be doing what you are led to do um you're having this unexplainable pull it's like you can't resist it now for some of you this is you can't resist this this individual okay whoever this is or this this person can't resist you let's get more for gemini Gemini, I feel like whatever this is, you're starting to love to do it, like, or not starting to, I feel like you love to do it, it's just, you're just now um, realizing what it is that you're led to do, um, or you're being led to do it more often, and you're actually, like, falling in love with it, now, for some of you, this is your divine counterpart, and you're your your love for this person is is beyond okay like your your love for this person may have just awakened maybe you just realize how much you love someone um it's like you adore this person or this is how someone is feeling for you gemini uh divine feminine okay please take it however it resonates but someone is adoring you or you're adoring them um admiring you or you're admiring them okay it's like a dream come true for someone. Like, yes, this is it. This is it. This is it. I 
settlement, agreement, compromise. Someone is wanting to settle things. Someone is wanting to come to some type of agreement here. What else, Spirit? We do have this enchantment energy here. So maybe some of you feel like this is too good to be true or, um, or this person do. We have interlude, pause, timing factor. Maybe a connection was put on pause. Maybe um, due to something that needed to be settled. Show us more for Gemini. 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 What else? There for Gemini. All right, Gemini. So we have here pretending, living beyond means, soulmate, happiness. Okay, that's what the fantasy is. Like maybe someone was pretending that they were in a, a happy connection or you're something about a connection that someone was pretending in, but it's like someone is still desiring someone else, a soulmate connection here. There could be a court situation going on for you, Gemini, maybe pertaining to child support, something like that, something with the government, okay, however this goes for you. Um, but it looked like, we're going to dive deeper into this, let's see more, because it seemed like someone is wanting to come back in, or, or unless this is you wanting to come back in. Go back towards this divine feminine. Please take it however it resonates. Gemini spirit, please show us a message for Gemini. 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 So it's like someone is, is waiting for something to pop off. Like because someone knows that someone is being fake or living beyond their means. So this could be a situation due to financial support. So maybe someone could be like trying. I don't know. I feel like someone could be trying to get into a connection. This is the surviving off a of daily hustle. Like someone getting into a. See how they switch? It's like someone trying to get into a connection because they need, they need support. <laughs> they need support because they got to give support. So either they have to or you have to give support and you're looking for a come up or something, but that's the pretending living beyond means or this person is. And it's like that pretend it's like, oh, you're my soulmate. I love you. You're my happiness. I want this. But it's something something else here. It's, it's a little fraudulent here. We have the coffin and we have family. So there's a there was an ending to a family situation here. Okay. Um, so that ended, ha that happened, okay, and now someone has to pay up, and someone could be trying to, so make sure you stay in the flow here, make sure you, um, paying attention to the signs of this person, like, what, what is it that this person want with you, because it seems like someone is telling you what you want to hear, because they need a place to stay, or they need, they need comfort from their financial loss or something is going on here or this is you doing this. Please take it however it resonates. What else, Spirit? Someone's uh, birthday could be on the 19th, the 21st, or these numbers could be significant, or the 1st, or the 10th, or the 3rd. Show us more. I told you. Wow. Thief. Someone's birthday could be on the 24th as well. Or the six, or someone could be age 24, age 21, age 19. Um, yeah, someone is a thief here. Distant horizon. So for some of you, you may not find this out until later on. So hopefully this is like a, a wake-up call before it get to, to that point. You want you want to know about this before it happened, not when it happened. So I feel like someone is a big pretender. That's what this message is about. Unexpected income imprisonment. So someone is trying to lock and key you because of some unexpected money. So maybe they know about some money that you got coming in or some this unexpected money is going out. Someone could be going to jail because of this um, privileged lady. They may find you as a privileged lady, main male, this main male. 
however this goes, someone that's concerned about their money, about their freedom, about court. Oh, Lord. The number 27 could be significant. The number 9 could be significant. So I'm going to be age 27, um, age 32. I just heard 32. Okay, let's get more. Spirit, please show us more on this energy for Gemini. This is the big pretender. That's what this is. Someone is a big pretender. Someone trying to use you. Unless you're the user. Show us a message for Gemini. Or, yeah, trying to use this uh, divine feminine energy. Show us a message for Gemini. Gemini. Like, yeah, I'm your person. I'm your soulmate. But it's, it's phony. This is phony business here. It's like. Someone would do whatever they have to do in order to live, in order to survive. Show us more with the three of wands for Gemini. So that that this is placing me in a distant horizon energy. Um, someone is waiting for their ships to come in due to a past situation, possibly due to children or um, due to a past person. Let's get more on this energy. Six of Cups, Ace of Wands. Um, be careful with like the sexual encounters with someone. Someone could be trying to knock someone up purposely for a game. Okay, show us more for Gemini Empress. Yeah, that's what this is about. Like, someone is trying to knock someone up for some type of game, whether this is a financial game. Um, from this feminine, this divine feminine, or this is a financial gain just because of this person energy because they're divine or you're divine. Okay. We have the eight of cups. Someone is walking away. This empress is walking away and someone is actually wanting a new beginning with someone. Wow. So I'm getting like this empress or baby mother could be walking away from a situation, walking away. It could be children involved here, a son and a daughter or two daughters and two sons or however the situation is. Someone could have two to three children as well. But it looked like um, this baby mother, the mother or the empress. I feel like this empress is this divine feminine. This person is walking away. Um and it looked like someone want a passionate new beginning with this person, but it it could be because of finances, because of child support, because of alimony. But it looked like this uh, divine feminine, which could be you, Gemini, or this person. Maybe it's someone you're dealing with, their baby mother or something like that, however the situation go. But this empress is walking away. Um and doing it really well. Six of sword. I mean, six of wands. So you're good without this situation. You leaving this behind, or this person is leaving this beyond, be, leaving it behind. Let's get more on this energy spirit. Um, or some of you, this could be a mother. Like you're walking away from a mother, a mother energy, or someone, or this could have been a baby. Like you're walking away from your baby mother. Um, for some of you. I'm going to get more on this uh, energy spirit. Ace of Wands came out again. Please don't let the sex fool you. Don't let the passion fool you. Like, don't let this, uh, don't let the sex um, interrupt what's really going on. Like, don't let it blind you. Let's do more with this Ace of Wands spirit. The higher fan. Yeah, don't let it blind you. It's like you're committed to the <laughs> heart plan spirit. It's like you're committed to the sex, okay, versus committed to this person, or this person is committed to making you want them sexually. So you, it's like it's like an ownership with sex. Like, yeah, I okay, I know how to get this person, make this person want me through sex. Mm. Wowzers, three of swords, I tell no lies, okay? Four of swords, it's like putting you to bed sexually, okay? Let me go ahead, or this is what you're doing, please stop it. But this three of swords is definitely causing heartbreak, 
because what you're thinking that this person really want, which is a commitment or relationship with you or marriage is, is phony. This is phony, phony belonging. This person have a hidden agenda or you do. This cycle needs to end. It's a closure here. This needs to, this needs to come to a closure. Um, this could be a feminine female that's trying to do this, pretending to be this divine feminine, trying to disguise themselves as, you know, the divine feminine, though, but really they have a, a hidden agenda, which is their hustle, to hustle this masculine out of finances, possibly due to children or whatever, and walking away with it, or this is what you're doing, or this person is doing but it looked like it's just based on sex. A commitment is based on sex. Someone is wanting someone to commit to them um, because of sex. What the heck? Show us more with this Empress. The Empress and the Eight of Cups spirit. The Empress wants to show up in reverse. Yeah, someone had withdrew. Someone left this energy. Someone is releasing themselves from here. It could be a Scorpio or, yeah, there's an end in here. Someone is, is leaving this behind. Some of you have to, if you're wanting a connection with someone, you, you, okay, say for instance, if, if I'm speaking to a male, Gemini, it could be a situation where you have to leave behind a motherly figure in order to go into the connection that you're desiring with this Scorpio. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or another Gemini, um, but it looks like you're going to have to leave this person behind in order to move into this, this connection that you're wanting. Um, someone could have been trying to finesse you if this was a mother, a baby mother, or this could be your own mother trying to finesse you out of finances, trying to get you to, to live up to what they're what, like, I don't know, this, this don't seem like, this don't seem like an actual mother, this seemed like a baby mother or someone that you were dealing with, um, the lover, someone could be still in love with their baby mother or with someone that, Maybe someone could have lost a child as well with this Empress in reverse. Um, yeah, maybe someone was a mother or is a mother and maybe lost a child with someone. Okay. The Empress in reverse with this death for sure. Three of Wands. Someone is waiting for their ships to come in due to a lover. So someone also, Gemini, could be waiting on you, waiting on you to walk away from a situation so you can so you can come back together. Um it's like maybe this person was waiting on you to uh, ascend here. Maybe they seen something in you or knew that, you know, I don't know. But someone someone is definitely in love with you. You're in love with this person, one or the other, okay? I feel like it's a mutual thing, but it's it's crazy because it's a, it's a hidden person here. Someone was trying to get you off focus um, so they can get what they want out of you, whatever that may be. The thief, the thief wanted something. What did this thief want? And this is crazy because we have the family, family in the coffin. So there's a, and it's like someone may have to end something with family because the family could have been a thief. It's like someone had to distance themselves from, from someone in order to have what they desire, what they admire, what they adore, which is this person or which is you. This could be a soulmate, a high level connection here with this, um, this higher thing here, soulmate and a soulmate. This could be like, um, this could be your person, but it's like, it's a third party involved that's causing, um, a, a hindrance to this connection. It's like maybe this magnetic pool could be the resistance from this, this, this karmic situation. Someone you can't resist or you had a hard time resisting or this person had a hard time resisting, but they want back with you or you want back with this divine person, regardless masculine or feminine, divine masculine or feminine, you want back with this divine person and, but you keep having this pull against this negative, negative, that's, but that's how it works. You know, there's anything toxic, something that's no good for us. It's like, oh, I just, I gotta have just one more piece of candy. Like, knowing you should have not one more piece of candy or let me have just a little bit of soda. Let me have just, no, you know, you don't supposed to have it. You know, especially whatever you got going on physically, maybe you having some health issues and you're like, dang, I don't, I don't need that. But yet you, 
one more is not going to hurt. And that one more just may hurt. So don't allow this to happen again for you or this person needs to come to realization of this. Let's see more on a death and an empress. Ace of Swords. Yes. So there's going to be victory here after an ending of the of a baby mother or an ending of a um a ending of a of, of a cycle. Like something needs to come to a closure here. Um I feel like it's time to speak up as well about this. Like it's some truth that you know or or you you starting to know. Um, but someone could be holding back from this. But it's time to, to open up. Allow allow this to, to change. Allow this to transform into its greatest form. I feel like it something it you know, keep like uh, whatever, whoever this is, they keep pulling you back or pulling this person back. Show us more on this energy. Six of Cups. Past person. This is the return of the past. Okay. Show us more. <laughs> and a wheel of fortune wants to come out. Something is destined to be, you guys. It just seemed like someone got to get out the mix. This Queen of Wands. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, feminine energy. Someone who played too many games play too many games could have caused a uh could have caused a delay with you and your divine counterpart coming together or being together or staying together Hold on. some of you it could be a leo with the sun in reverse and the queen of rods so you need to release whoever this person is okay you may have a child or children with this person it's time to let this person go um they're just causing hindrance to your your real soulmate, someone that you do supposed to come together with and possibly marry or um, be in a committed relationship with. I feel like this person could have um, stole you from a real family, a family that you are supposed to be or supposed to have, whatever, or you have had and something happened, okay? Um, let's finalize this message. Show us more for Gemini Spirit. What else? So whatever this is, if you have to walk away from this person, you know, pay them. If you are the masculine, you got to pay the child support. Or if you are the feminine, you got to pay child support. Do what you got to do and just keep it moving. Um, I just feel like this is not worth it because your happiness lies elsewhere. Show us a message here for Gemini. And this person is angry and, and may even cause problems, more problems in your life. But the farther you away or just due to you not being in the same energy or allowing this person to, you know, step over. It's like you're allowing this person to um, tap in. You got to set those boundaries and you need to keep them set. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about Thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Show us more for Gemini. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, ha having fun. What else for Gemini? We have clock. Need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal and progress. In progress, what the heck? <laughs> and we have hammer, sabotage, rebuild, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. So something is repetitive. This cycle may have happened over and over and over. Like maybe you came together with the soulmate and then it's an interruption. Then you come together with the same soulmate, and it's an interruption. Something needs to stop. The pattern must stop. Um, the, you you wanna you're gonna have to put the hammer to it. Okay, whoever this person is that keeps sabotaging your your happiness, your soulmate connections, like you're gonna have to nip that in a bud, like for real. This person is a chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. This person is a, is afraid that you're abandoning them, so they're gonna chase after you. That's that pull, cool, you know that um that uh, unexplainable pull they can't resist. So um, this could be you. Um, maybe you need to stop the pattern of what you're doing. Okay. However this is, but there's an energy here. 
an energy vampire. The sun in reverse and the queen of rise in reverse. That's definitely an energy vampire. Okay, they're trying to stop all happiness for you due to a real connection that you're supposed to be in. So that is it for you, Gemini. Um, I hope you receive some type of clarity in your in this message. Um mm. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We move on to Libra. Hey Libra, thank you for tuning in for this message. Let's see what's going on for you. Spirit, please show us a message for Libra. Higher angels of the God of love, please show us a message for Libra. Sun and rising Venus, please show us a message for Libra. Spirit. Okay. And what else, Spirit, for Libra? Please show us more. Libra. 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 All right. All right, Libra. Um. Well, then, this don't look good. I mean, it looks quite messy, if you ask me. Um. So there's a situation for a Libra out there. Please place you wherever you belong in the situation. If this is not your message, please don't force it to fit. Okay. Um. But there is a situation out there for you, Libra, for a Libra, where someone is wanting to negotiate with you. It's like bargain big, like for another chance or to make something pretty much work in their favor. Um, it's not so much of wanting this because of love or because it's more of things will be worse if they went this route. So they need you to... Uh, you know, work with them or whatnot. Someone could be a, a big hustler or just um, a hustler as in, um, or not so much of a hustler. Well, no, this, this they could be a big hustler, but more of um, someone who just like take a lot of risk in life, okay? Um, this person could just, you know, go out on a whim. Or, um, they could be a hustler though, but they may have a gambling addiction. They just, you know, that's that risk, you know, very risky behavior. Or um, they may be into the nightlife and are um, possibly just, you know, even if it's not clubs, it's just stay out late at night or just um, dealing with the wrong crowds, wrong people or whatnot. I don't know. It seemed like this is a repeated pattern of someone's uh, lifestyle. Um, this happened in, in the past and it happened again. This could be their past life as well. And they're, they need to get it right this lifetime, but it looked like they're not. Um, it's like, you could write a whole book, a whole, you could write a book about this situation or this person. Uh, some of you could be writers. You could be into writing. Um, maybe it's a lot of things that you have kept note of and, you're running out of pages. You're running out of lines <laughs> within this book of what this person has put you through, what you have experienced. Um, and then I feel like you're getting to the point where it's like it's it's, it's a tragedy. Like you don't want to deal with this anymore. It's like no, no, I just don't want to hear it. I don't want to. I don't want to hear it. I'm at the point right now where um, I'm ready to take this to the courts. Okay, so if there's children involved here. Um, it could be like a situation where, um, you know, you're going through financial support. Um, if you're married, it could be alimony. There could be a government issue due to finances. Someone, if it's not like a separation, this could be someone's addictions where it's, it's, it's bringing up cases now in a course because of finances. Um, for some of you, um, if you're not deciding to to uh, break free from this connection from this person 
this person could just be going through some financial losses because of their patterns they're not changing um and it's like they punish you or want to punish you for you know because of their stress okay this person could be uh leaning on 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 alcohol now maybe this person wasn't a big drinker they were you know maybe took care of themselves or you drunk more water or but now they're going more towards the alcohol now and you're like what the heck it's just reversed like you're going backwards instead of going forwards i thought we were done with that i thought you were trying to do better but something is causing this setback um and it's like this person could take this out on you or um or this is this could be how you feel like when this person upset they want to lash out on you or punish you for their mess ups <laughs> um for some for some of you you may want to retaliate on this person due to what they have put you through um something someone is about to confess the truth okay it's something that's coming out whether you're going to be confessing how you truly feel due to the situation now or this person is going to confess you know what what's going on or does someone need to okay the, the time is running out here uh, especially with the tiktok dead time deadline like it's time It's like, it's time. What are you going to do with this? Are you going to stay? Or are you going to go? Are you going to deal with this? Are you going to continue to deal with this? Um, are you going to set boundaries and keep those boundaries set? Or are you going to allow this person to keep doing this to you? Or keep doing this to themselves? And you're not, uh, you're not giving them, it's like you're, you're allowing it to happen because you, you didn't set any boundaries or you didn't stick to your, you didn't stick to your word. Like before you said, okay, look, if you do that again, you know, I can't continue to deal with this. And then they do it again, but you continue to deal with it. So, yeah. So not only this person is the issue, but you could be the issue too, Libra, because you're allowing this to continue. Um, So maybe you're getting to the point where you're on the verge to just, you know, uh, reveal, look, I cannot and will not deal with this again. Show us a message for Libra. Someone also could be dealing with like a child support issue or some someone's um this could be outside of your situation. Like someone could be taking someone to court due to a child financial support. Um and this could be a big loss, financial loss for someone. So they're leaning towards alcohol. Someone wanna punish someone because of this, because they're angry, because they're taking them for child child support, taking them for their money or whatever. Instead of just being an adult and stepping up to what they need to do someone want to retaliate oh i want to punish this person but all that's going to do is cause more karma on whoever this is um let's see show us a message for libra libra we have bad health someone could have bad health someone could be sick ill um dealing with some type of illness here show us more for libra this could be this mature man here um the person that you're dating or this person likes to date around deal with multiple people that could be the issue here um yeah someone uh birthday could be on the 31st um on the 5th on the 4th whether yours theirs or these numbers could be significant in other ways special dates not so special dates um or this could be a part of address, um, whatever. License plate, um, 20 as well, or the number two, um, 44. Someone could be age 44. Someone could be age 31. Um, someone could be born at 54 or 40. Dang. Okay, so 54 or 45. Someone could be e either age 45 or 54 as well. Okay, I think I said that. <laughs> Am I getting tired? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's see more for you. Libra. Um, someone's father could be ill. 
sick. Um, could be physically ill, sick. Okay. Um, Also, someone could be using that as an excuse of why they're drinking, why they're this or whatever. Show us a message for Libra. Libra. All right, four of pentacles. You better hold on to your money because it looks like it looks like it could be real tight for you at this time. Show us more for Libra. The Seven of Pentacles, Three of Cups. All right, so just for a short period of time, I feel like your money is going to be okay. You do have, like, wait, okay, you, you could be waiting on your ships to come in. You, you've been waiting. And I feel like you're going to receive what it is that you've been waiting on. But in the time being, try not to overspend at this time. Show us more. The emperor wanted to come out in reverse. So I feel like someone could, you know, they just tend to lose control due to their habits. It's time to come out of those habits. You may need to hold back finances or hold back from this person. This is the person that's on the verge to confess or tell you something, judgment. Someone is in fear of being judged. Someone could be dealing with the Aries. Or someone could be losing a home um, or just a marriage, okay? Someone felt like this is just not going well. Someone could be deciding to let go of a marriage, let go of this home, this foundation. It just seemed like it wasn't built on a healthy ground. That's just why, I mean, something is just not working here. Ten of Cups, Eight of Swords. Someone feel trapped in a family. Maybe because of finances. Someone, okay. Someone could be making someone feel like, oh, you know, if you leave me, then you're not going to have anything. Like, what? I don't know, but that could be the manipulation here with the magician. But uh, you're going to have to come out of that thinking or don't. Or or this could be this person. They may just feel this way. You know, if they leave you, they may not have anything because of financial support, child support, alimony, or things like that. So they could be thinking that. And they could, you know, I don't know. This seems like someone who likes to do like tit for tat. So if you do try to do what's right, this person and what's right is, you know, you receiving what's due to you. But this person may not want that for you or feel some type of way and they want to get some get back. But the get back is like trying to make you not receive what's owed to you. Like that's just their karma. They're going to receive nothing but karma for that. I don't know. It just seemed like someone needs to grow up or stop um, going towards their addictions to cope with their problems. Mm -hmm. Their addictions could be sex, could be dealing with multiple people, other partners, or they could also be a drinking habits as well. It's not everyone's case, so please don't force it. But you know your situation. If this is what's happening so far, then this is just what it is. Um, someone could have been together for seven years, dealing with this person for seven years. Maybe you have a seven-year-old child. Um, some of you, uh, could have been 11 years, uh, seven to 11 years. Um, but there is some form of a celebration here. Maybe, um, hopefully getting things right. I don't know. Let's see more on the three of cups. Three of Cups spirit. The Emperor. So you have the Emperor in the up right here, and Emperor in reverse right here. <laughs> so there is a reunite, a, me, a, a come together with this Emperor. So I mean, you could be dealing with the Aries. So it's it's like a reunite and it feels so good. But then 
this ember feel like they're losing control because of maybe someone have gotten out of control due to their spending habits due to their addictions and maybe this is what they're about to confess to you and they want to renew things with you maybe because you were on the verge and they were sensing this that you didn't want this marriage anymore you don't you know you they felt you pulling back so now that they're realizing this, they may want to step up and do what's right, because because they left they 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 lost all control. Show us more on the emperor in reverse. Six of wands in reverse, yeah. Like whatever they were trying to do, it just wasn't successful here. Six of wands and whoa, the world in reverse. Yeah, something wasn't complete. It wasn't. It didn't turn out the way they wanted it to turn out. Show us more with the Page of Wands. Page of Wands clarify with the Two of Cups in reverse. So okay. So reunited because it feels so good. I don't know, Libra. Um, I don't feel like it's mutual. So if you're feeling like that, this person may want to confess that they feel different. Or you may want to confess that you feel different. Like there's definitely different feelings here. Like someone is really opting out. That's what I'm getting. Like someone is wanting to opt out of this and they're not happy. And they're, they're losing control in this situation. They feel like they lost control of themselves. Like they don't feel like the emperor anymore. They don't feel like that strong individual anymore they don't feel empowered anymore because of this like maybe they are putting a blame too much on you or on this situation versus just seeing their faults out of this situation but it do seem like this person just they're they're realizing that they're just not happy and they feel like this is not successful and it, it may not turn out successful you know, due to all the years, the time that they have put into this, or this is you feeling this way. So the message is, hey, I, I'm really not into this anymore, two of cups in reverse. You know, maybe, you know, I don't feel like this is supposed to, we, we're just not seeing eye to eye here. We're not on the same page anymore. So show us more with judgment. Judgment with the two of pentacles. The king of swords kind of iffy here. Didn't know if it wanted to come out in reverse or in the upright. So this could be you in this energy. Unsure of what you want to say or how you want to say it. You could be battling back and forth. Like what you, how you should, you know, address this person or what you should say. Or this is the energy of that person to trying to figure out what to say. How they can really speak up like someone needs to really work with their third chakra at this time show us more with the king of swords yeah it's like they're slow to speak slow to to to, to say or express exactly how they feel but it, it looked like they will just you know but again tiktok time running out so someone need to speak up now yeah someone need to speak up now whether this is you or this person. Spirit, please show us a message for Libra. Libra, show us more on this energy for Libra, Spirit. Libra. Libra. We have the snake. I wanted to come out in reverse. A competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. So someone could be releasing the snake, releasing the other woman or something like that. Um, Maybe show us more. Hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Yeah, like I said, someone is repetitive. The history repeats itself over and over again like they keep doing the same thing um but it looked like they're realizing they're sabotaging themselves someone is heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling lost grieving mourning 
soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Yeah, like I was saying, like one person felt like this, you know, it is a soulmate and the other person felt like no. Like one person felt like reunited because it feels so good. And the other person like, no. Like, I don't want this. Like, someone is definitely on on the opposite fence. Like, someone is not feeling the same way. And could have a hard time speaking up on this. Vote. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Closure issues. Yeah, someone is having a hard time with closure. We have the sword in rose. But this was, um, this one is to come out in reverse. Clarity. Truth. Uh, revelation. Force, honor, protection, power. Yeah, I feel like someone felt powerless due to allowing this to linger on for so long. Someone felt like they lost control of themselves. Someone felt like they lost control of who they really are and, you know, what they, it's like they, yeah, they, they lost themselves in this connection. Let's get one more, one more spirit addiction due to addictions yes spirit thank you codependent obsession possession controlling has a block restraints yeah someone have issues with addictions um due to maybe the control someone could have been over controlling um likes to be empowered um but due to losing power maybe because you gain power over the situation they feel powerless um and they don't feel like themselves that could be the situation as well but it look like um someone is 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 wanting to opt out. That's what I'm getting here. Uh, it's definitely some stalking going on, or watching. Um, however you want to put it, but someone is definitely watching. Someone could be very, uh, much so a gaslighter. They could be gaslighting you um as well, or you could be the gaslighter. Take it however it resonates. But someone is gaslighting the other person. So that is all I have for you, Libra. Please take whatever resonate and leave whatever don't. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, blessings. Hey, Aquarius. Thank you for tuning in for this message. Let's see what's going on for you. Sir, please show us a message for Aquarius. All right. All right, racing. Running, avoiding, divine feminine. Hmm. And what else, Spirit? Show us more for Aquarius. 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 Show us more for Aquarius. have family and what else Aquarius searching show us more objective and what else for Aquarius King songs and symbol current status available. Show us one more. We have history past happen. Okay, so someone had repeated patterns here, and they're starting to see this. Um, someone could be looking for info, trying to figure out why this is repetitive. Like, why do this keep happening to me? I notice every year, like, someone is realizing, like, they have a pattern or, you know, something is, is, is just re repeating itself. Um, I feel like if you're a divine feminine, you could be either avoiding a situation or this person or someone is avoiding you. This could be someone you have a child or children with that you could be avoiding or you, they could be avoiding you. But at the same time, it's like someone is searching, searching for you. All right, so maybe you you 
you chose to um, leave something behind, okay? And you chose self because you start realizing the patterns of this situation or with this person or um, you realize this person patterns, like the things that they keep doing and, and it's just keep doing it. It's something similar to this keep happening year after year or time after time. Um, this person likes to project as well, project onto you. Um, you could be receiving messages in your dreams. It's like this person is trying to get you to think of them. Um, you could be single or choosing to be single at this time, or someone could be living single, okay? But it could be in a connection, a relationship, or this is what they have done. Like they, it's a family here, but yet single, right? right below it like what okay someone could be trying to search the past like why do this keep happening um and someone is trying to project onto this divine feminine i feel like um or or trying to get this divine feminine to think of them to connect with them to dream with them to to hear songs and 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 reminisce of them um or this is you however this go someone is trying to project off of you like okay so maybe yeah what this person could be trying to make yeah because they're still holding on to you it's like they're still holding on to you and they want you to still hold on to them so they could be projecting onto you, like, or possibly uh, making it seem like, like you just can't let go of them, but really it's them that can't let go of you. <laughs> Something like that could be going on. Let's let's see more though. So much more needs to be said. All right. Please show us some message for Aquarius. It's like because you're running and avoiding them. So they, they, this is crazy. <laughs> it's not, no. So it's like this person, they're seeing you as this divine being, whether you're male or female. They're seeing you as divine. This is someone that you either had a family with or they desire to have a family with you, but they see you as avoiding them, running from them. You're releasing yourself from them. Okay. They're constantly searching for you, looking online, trying to find info. This could be a repetitive pattern of theirs. Maybe this has happened before, um, but they're trying to project onto you and or possibly try to get others to feel like um basically or to see them as right because of what the, so they could say like um oh they really they're um or however like oh they they really dreaming of me or thinking of me or they want me or whatever but it's like the other way around um but they're trying to get you to dream and think of them so they could be sending that telepathic wave towards you to try to get you to, it's like signal you to them, like, think of me. Um, you could be single. That could be the confirmation as well. You could be single and you just know your worth here, whether you male or female. Um, this has happened some time ago, but yet they're still in the now, like they're still, this person can't let this go, or they're having a hard time with letting this go or letting you go again, that goes back into grip anchor chains way down. Yep. Show us a message for Aquarius. 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 Aquarius spirit, please show us a message for Aquarius. D. Mm. And what else, Spirit? They're stealing, they're trying to steal your energy. I feel like this could definitely be like an energy vampire trying to tap in and steal your energy. They're trying to drain you and make you want 
want them again, like tapping into your dreams, your, your mind, your energy. Imprisonment. They can't hold on to you anymore. They can't keep you stuck anymore. The imprisonment is in reverse, okay? You, the shackles is off. You can you could go. You're free. You're free to go. That's why you're running. <laughs> That's why you're running. You ran from this situation. You're avoiding this person, okay? You may not have, you know, f actually physically ran, but it's true. Tell me you, you have. You had to get the hell out of Dodge. But um, you could just be avoiding this person, this energy, because you know what they're up to. Show us more. Despair. And they're in despair because of this. Because they know they lost you. So they're trying to project onto you. Because <laughs> they, they know they lost you, but they don't want others. It's like they don't want others to view this as, in that way. Yeah, it's definitely a change here. And this change is you going into a connection with the official person. Um, and someone who, is, yeah, it's a gift here. We got mature woman, mature man with the gift and right in between. Um, someone birthday could be on the 29th, on the 24th. Someone could, uh, someone could be age 32, um, or 29 or 24. But I feel like someone feel like they lost you or they're losing you. Please show us a message for uh, Aquarius. 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 Yeah, you definitely ghosted this person, okay? Yeah, you got the hell out of Dodge for sure. Um, I mean, it could be the other way around, take it however. But I'm getting, uh, of course, you you go to the situation. You left some something. You left someone behind. Show us more. Someone could have. Yeah, you may have had a family with this person, but you blocked them off. Aquarius, your energy, King of Swords. You could be dealing with the Gemini. Um, but it looked like this person is still in love with you and still want to talk to you. They want to express to you how they feel. Maybe this person ghosted you and they're now receiving these synchronicities and dreams and thoughts of you. And yeah, they want to tell you like, hey, you know, I, I, I see you as my divine counterpart now. You moved away though. You moved on. You freed yourself with the cool six of swords. And I feel like you just put in a work, you start working on self, especially with the, the divine kind of part being here. Um, you blocked off this energy. That's what, yeah, you ran, you avoid this situation, you blocked this off. Now, for some of you, um, this person may have avoided you and blocked, or may have avoided you, ghosted you. And once you worked on self and freed yourself from this situation, you blocked this person off. And now they're feeling that stinger. Because they're feeling what they dished out. So maybe this person did this to you and then you like, look, okay, well, I can't just continue to dwell on this. I must just let, I must set myself free, work on myself, okay? And just, you know, stand my ground with this person, with this situation. But I feel like this person is wanting to give in to this and wanting to balance things back out with you. But I feel like you ended it. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio, an Aquarius, um, a Gemini, Virgo, or an Aries. Yeah, this person is going to be reaching out to you. Yeah, you could be dealing with the Aries. Um, but someone is definitely going to be reaching out to you. It's, it's, they took a long time. They took their sweet time. And I feel like you're over it or you... you um, or you're close to being completely over it if you're not completely over it right now. Also, I feel like this person, they're watching you or they're this spying. They found something because they see something different within you. And this is making them want to get to this situation even more. They see you transform. They see some type, some type of transformation within you, possibly because you just stood your ground. Show us a message for Aquarius.
Once again, like someone want to return and protect you. Like, can I just, I want to be your protector. Can I, can I, you know, I, I don't know. It's like it, after this departure, something changed within someone. But it's crazy because someone was just definitely like, and in it for their own selfish reasons at first. Let's see more. Someone could be getting out of jail or just got out of jail. I feel like you're like, no. I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, because this person could be a gold digger or you feel like, you know, um, they were in it for all the wrong reasons. This thief. Show us more. Yep, that's what it is. So this person could be a gold digger. Just, you know, they was in it for your money and it for, they, they needed some type of support and they felt like you was the ticket, the, the, the person that can help them. But um, Spirit is saying no twice. We got the no here and then yes in reverse, which is a no. Like no to this gold digger, okay? Someone could be moving. Um, you could be moving this gold digger and just want a piece of your cake, want a piece of what you got, intuition, pregnancy, they want to get you pregnant because they feel like they will always have a part of you. Um, if it's not pregnancy, they just, they intuitively know that you're growing financially, okay? And it could be because of what they've been seeing. Maybe you didn't broadcast, oh, you're financially growing, but they're putting the puzzle together, however. So that could be the growth here, the 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 pregnancy, the birth of new ideas or whatnot. But um, and it could be due to, yeah, it's, it's I feel like it's red flags. It's been red flags with this person. Um, yeah, don't don't give in to this person. They're basically saying because they just want a part of your money. They are narcissists. <laughs> Yeah, this could this is the ghoster. Someone ghosted you because they wanted a financial gain. Maybe you weren't giving it to them or whatever. And they felt like maybe you was gonna chase them. So then you if you chase them, then they end up giving to you. I mean you would end up giving to them what they want, but something didn't happen that way and you ended it and you focus on self, so now they wanna basically come back through, but it's it's more of because they still want something from you. And it's not like you're hard. It's not like, okay, so this could be what they're trying to say. <laughs> Maybe they want to, or not trying to say, this is what they're going to say if you, if they get a chance to say it. But like, I just want to protect you. I want to, you know, I want to uh, make sure you good. Like, but this is all like basically just to get their way back in. Like, I'm in love with you, the, 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 the lovers. I want to protect you. Like, no, this person is... They're going to say whatever they have to say in order for you to say, oh, okay, you know, just so you can give in, so you can crack. Yeah, so they could date, take you on a date, vacation. Yeah, so for some, like, this is how they're going to get you, okay? They want to date you, wine and dine you. It looked like, oh, they're not being a gold digger. They really, they taking me on dates. They spending money. But no, this person, that's their way to get in, like, <laughs> Pay attention now. <laughs> like, that's their way to get in. Like, if they showed it before, they'll show it again. It's just, I don't know, I just feel like this person, they know what they're doing. They're smart. They're very intelligent ghoster, okay? This person know what the hell they're doing. They do this. This is, this is a part of their world, okay? So they're used to this. They know how to manipulate your mind and make you think oh they're not they really love me or they really into me because they took me on a date and you know they took me on this vacation no they spent the money that they had with the last person that they had this situation with and then they spending that on you so they can get you to be in with them and break bread with them don't fall for the tricks distance yourself okay distance yourself this is not worth it do not give in to this person they're a narcissist they're a gold digger they're a narcissist they're a gold digger they're a narcissist they're a gold digger all they're going to do is ghost you all they're going to do is lie to you just to get just to get their way with you just so they can steal lie cheat steal okay thief 
because they broke and they don't have, they're without, they're in despair. This person, maybe they just got out of jail and they need some type of support. That's all. They need some type of support. So they're thinking of their next victim, which is you. Okay. Whether male or female. This don't necessarily have to be um, male. This could be a female doing this. Okay. So you male Aquarius, be wise now. Pay attention to the sign. They could be trying to, to uh, finesse you due to a pregnancy. You know, lie to you about a pregnancy or try to get something out of you. Like, it's it's some real messed up people, the energies in this world. Show us a message for Aquarius. This person try to, is, may try to move in with you. Like, yeah, I, I'm going to protect you. I pay all the bills. They lying. <laughs> They, yeah, they gonna do it for the first month, maybe the first two, and then they like, oh, I'm, I lost my job, I'm out of, I'm out of a job, I need, you know, I, just help me, you know, I, you know, I did it for the first two months, you know, I need you to, to, to have my, hold us down for, for some time until I get back on my feet. That was the whole plan. Whoever this is, that was the whole plan. Be careful. Pay attention to the signs. Aquarius spirit, please show us paradise. Yeah, like this person want to make it seem like it's paradise with you. Like happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. That's how it all start, okay? But mind you, this person is a ghoster. They see you as divine, okay? They see you as divine. Heart with the key. Welcome in love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Get opening your heart. Getting together perfect that's how it's going to feel that is how it's going to feel but watch this turn around it's too much too many red flags in this message here we got not enough frustrated in a relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issues jealousy this person is very jealous they they not going to show it on the first date no they're going to want to die you make you feel like oh you so special oh my god how did i deserve someone this special oh my god <laughs> But this is it's a it's a it's a plot. This is not it. Keys on a ring, many options, decision unconventional, string along, one night stand. This person is not here for long. Okay? You need to make healthier choices. Make healthier choices in love and in life. Self love, self care, being happier. And then we have Hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. You need to work on making healthier choices here. What else there for Aquarius? Not today. That's your healthier choices. Set the boundaries, okay? Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call a person, boundaries. Okay, you need to set those boundaries and keep them set. What else for Aquarius? Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. This person had a hidden agenda from day one, okay? You took bait. You 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 allowed this person to make a move, so they they did uh, did the most made you feel like that it was love but it wasn't but receiving what you need progression arriving moving on closure issues so a lot of you could be having closure issues with this particular situation because they really psyched you or this could be you like i don't take it how it resonate but this was definitely some messed up energy here Someone could have robbed someone, stole their money, stole. Let me see. Hold up. Someone could have stole someone's money, stole. Like, this is crazy. Like, or this was their intentions. And, and they could be in despair as well because they didn't succeed at doing that. Where did I put that bag? Let me see. 
see. Aquarius. Spirit, please show us more on this energy of this gold digger, this manipulator. Show us more on this energy here. Someone name could start with the H. First metal last or nickname or something regarding this situation could start with the H. Will not take accountability for their actions. Whoever this is is a very very wise person. Like they I mean, like they know they're very intelligent, like smart dude to the point of like robbing, stealing, killing, like that type. Like this person know what the hell to do, how to do it, but they're good at finessing people, okay? Dang, they're giving us a lot of letters. Okay, C H A F. Okay. Um Hmm. Fast cash without the F. I feel like the F fast and then that's the first thing that came to mind. So that definitely could be a situation like they this is you know, that's how they they come come up. They rather cause death on you than to pay you anything back. So maybe you they took something from you or to you were asking for your money back. And they rather cause cause death on you. Okay, this is a psychopath that you're dealing with. They cold hearted and calculating. I told you, like whoever this is, that they're intelligent, intelligent in a in a more messed up way. <laughs> like, um, that's crazy. Like, yeah, they carefully plot their moves and use aggression in a planned out way, right, to get what they want. Um. We have dirty. They could be dirty, like, for real. Like, they dirty due to what they do. Um, Say nothing, but death can keep me from her. Pretended to love you for material gain. We're going to end it right there. Someone, well, other than R. Someone named to start with the R. First, middle, last, or nickname. But, um, yeah, this was definitely a gold digger. Um, Aquarius. Someone just wanted your money, wanted to come up. So we're going to leave that there. Um, please take whatever resonate and leave whatever don't. Don't force anything to fit, you guys. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time, many blessings.